For those of you who are familiar with this particular courtyard, it's called the Bed Valera Courtyard. We in fact dedicated for uh, Rabbi Dolgin a number of months ago, Bed Dolgin. And for many of you who have been on tour and remember there was one part of the building we never had. One particular Arab kept on sitting here and sitting here, refused to leave. As it works out, the courts ruled that he had no rights here. That's in short. So we're finally here, the day has arrived where between the court orders, the eviction notices, and the fact that we allowed him an extra few weeks even to stay, he's no longer here. You remember the Arab? We're in the house. This is where he used to stand and look down all the groups coming in. He had his uh, Palestinian flag here, but as you can see, this Palestinian flag can come down and we're going to be replacing it with Israeli flags. Today, this part of the building is in our hands. He left this morning place is empty, we've come in and now another family will be added to the old city. That's all part of the redemption process. That's real, that's what it's all about. Stone after stone, family after family, but it takes people from overseas and in Israel to help make this happen. This was many years in the doing, but it's finally happened. The whole of this courtyard, Bed Dolgan, initially Bed Bolero for the first banker that was here in the 1800s, is now fully in Jewish hands. Mazal